This is how you can restore your iPhone 2G to iPhone OS 1.0. Now, this method is based on the Everything 2G method, so all credit to him. So you'll need an iPhone 2G with a serial where the fourth and fifth digits are less than 48 because those iPhones are actually capable of running 1.0. You need a Windows XP computer. In this case, we used a version of XP that's Server 2003. You need iTunes 7.5. And you need this tool called Zip Phone 3.0. And finally, you need the IPSW files for the iPhone 2G for three different versions. 3.1.3, which is the highest version, and you should restore it to that first. 1.1.4, which will be vital for this. And of course, 1.0. So we're just going to... Assume that you've restored your iPhone 2G 3.1.3, and then we're going to put in the DFU mode by holding power and home for 10 seconds, and then releasing the power button and continue holding home for an additional 10 seconds. 3.1.3 works best, though I don't think it's a necessity. Open iTunes, navigate to the iPhone, and then shift-click the restore button and choose the 1.1.4 IPSW. Now, after a while, iTunes will show you a message that it failed with an error number of 1015, but don't panic. Your iPhone should now be displaying a connect to iTunes screen. Put that sucker into DFU mode again, so hold down power and home for 10 seconds, and then releasing the power button and holding down just the home button for 10 more seconds. Go back into iTunes, enter iPhone settings, shift click, restore again, and we will choose 1.1.4 for a second time. We're going to restore to that for a second time, and surprise, it will fail again with the same error 1015. This is because the iPhone baseband is actually acting up, so we can't actually install 1.1.4 properly, so let's go fix that. Go to your zip phone folder and pick zip phone patch. Now click the GUI exe file, the zip phone GUI, and then we want to check off just debug boot and I erase and then click start. Your iPhone should be spamming the white text because we're fixing the baseband. After a bit, the Apple logo should pop up and we should boot to a lock screen. But we are far from done because we haven't gotten to 1.1.4 properly yet. We just fixed the baseband. So let's install 1.1.4 on the iPhone 2G for the third and final time and use that to get to 1.0. Put that sucker into the DFU mode again. Go back to iTunes and then choose 1.1.4 for the third and final time after shift click and restore. And this time iTunes should restore with no issues because we fixed the baseband. Now the iPhone is going to boot normally and ask you for a SIM to activate it. It's already on 1.1.4. If you're fine with that, you can stop here. But we want to go to 1.0. Put that sucker in a DFU mode for a fourth time. Now go to the iPhone settings, and then now we're going to shift-click restore and pick the 1.0 IPSW. We are so close. And after a bit, iTunes will successfully downgrade your iPhone 2G 1.0. There's just one more thing, though. Your iPhone 2G still needs to be activated. And if you're like me, you're most likely not going to have a valid AT&T SIM card because it only works on that network. So let's fix this now so it can actually use the phone. So go back to your zip phone folder and pick the zip phone 3.0 folder. Not the patch, just the normal one. Open the zip phone GUI EXE and then go to advanced features and expand it and then uncheck jailbreak file system. Click perform actions and your iPhone should now ask you to please connect to iTunes. Just ignore that. Zip phone will do its work and boot the phone for you. And we are done. It'll say it's an incorrect SIM, but ignore that. You're already on 1.0 and it's perfectly working. So that's how you do it.